Warframe has an insane amount of secondary weapons for us to choose from and when they added in the modular kit guns with Fortuna it gave us a completely new set of powerful combinations to mess about with. So we have a lot more choices when we want to kill loads and loads of enemies. Now it has been a while since I've made one of these types of videos but since I have been getting asked this a lot on stream lately this is three incredible kit gun combinations my personal favorite ones and some of the best in the game right now now let me know in the comment section below what your go-to kit gun is if you run with one and what name of course you give it because that's the most important thing what funny goofy name did you give your kit gun now when building a kit gun and I guess spending that reputation you're going to want to get the most value out of the parts that you actually go about building but what are the best kit gun builds right now the ones that give you the most bang for your buck the ones that get the work done whether it's a tomb finger setup a catch moon rattle guts or even the beaming gaze you have a lot of choices in front of you now I will leave a link to a really informative reddit post on kit gun builds in this video's description which will point you towards which combinations are the best right now. Now first up is probably the most powerful of my three kit guns that I use. This is my Proclaimer. This kit gun uses a combination of the Tomb Finger Chamber, the Splat Loader and the Haymaker Grip. Now for me this is my Space Magnum. Forget the Magnus, I know, I know, heresy. This is a semi-automatic pistol that fires hard hitting rounds that explode on impact that can kill and ragdoll more than one enemy if those enemies are I guess in close proximity. But your aim will need to be on point or you're going to miss shots. So this setup will give you a 38% crit chance and almost a two and a half times crit multiplier while also being a radiation based weapon. Now primed crit mods on this tomb finger will bring you over the 100% crit chance mark which means constant yellow crits not to mention the crowd control effect from the radiation if your target doesn't initially die now it also has a somewhat decent status chance so if you go ahead and put on two dual stat mods then of course you're going to have a lot more status to play about with now you can choose to switch out the splat loader from my build for the kill stream loader if you wanted to which will only slightly change your reload speed but will also give you less rounds in the magazine which means less sustained damage so it's your call which loader you prefer entirely up to you the damage loss between these two loaders is barely noticeable according to the guys who have done the math on this and right now this setup is the go-to kit gun for a lot of players seen as probably being the best in game as we stand and like all kit guns it has a neutral riven disposition which means you can bump that crit up even more if you're lucky with your rules. Now, it's easily one of the best weapons in the game right now, never mind just being one of the best kit guns. Now for the splat loader you will need maximum standing with Solaris United and the haymaker grip you need the second rank, I think it's called Outworlder, so you need to rank up in order to buy the parts to build this kit gun. Also having an arcane like Pax Seeker on this kit gun is a great way to give you that little bit of added crowd clearing capability. Now the next kit gun we're looking at is my favourite, it doesn't hit as high hard per single shot as my tomb finger the proclaimer but it can deal with larger groups of enemies a lot easier because of its magazine size and the fact that it is a full auto kit gun now this is my receding hairline i know get a good chuckle in have a laugh at my expense i mean i can't have anything nice in this game you know that my favorite zaw my plague Cripat, probably the best zaw in the game is called sunborn forehead I forgot my Factor 50 sun lotion once on a holiday and this is what I get for it. Now this is my Rattle Guts kit gun. This uses the combination of the Rattle Guts chamber, obviously, the Haymaker grip and the Kill Stream loader. So it has a 33% crit chance and a 2.3 times crit multiplier. So it's another crit based weapon which is what kit guns absolutely excel at. Status kit guns don't feel as good. Now I do need to point out that the current best rattle guts I think is the combination of the love tap grip 
and the splat loader. It has a higher base damage, a larger magazine and a faster fire rate. So it's the best Rattleguts set up right now. But my receding hairline is still incredibly strong and in terms of DPS is only slightly behind the Love Tap build. So the reason I prefer my Rattleguts over my Tomb Finger kit gun is simply because it has crowd clearing potential and it just feels more fun for me. Not as much crowd clearing potential as the Catch Moon kit gun but still enough while also being really good against heavy units. Not to mention if you put Pax Charge on this thing then you don't run out of ammo so ammo no longer becomes an issue which is something that the Rattleguts has issues with if you don't have that arcane. Now again you need reputation with Solaris United for these parts if you want to buy them and for the Splat Loader like I said you need the maximum standing with Solaris United but for the Love Tap it is a neutral part which you can buy really early on as well as the Rattle Guts Chamber so you can get two parts of that setup really early on in the Solaris United standing which leaves me with my final kit gun of choice my Catch Moon kit gun my Flufa of course the Gaze is a good kit gun as well but the Catch Moon just has more room clearing potential for me and it's also a mini Archiplasmor of kit guns it fires a wide plasma round or multiple depending on your multi-shot setup that wipe out large groups of enemies in a second. It also has that built-in enemy punch through that allows it to pass through enemies and wipe out multiple in one shot but of course the punch through is only on those enemies not objects like railings or walls so that can lead to issues with the catch moon. If your shot clips a railing it will disappear and not hit the target that's the far side of the railing so of course you're going to have to shoot again. Now that's the only real downside for me with the Catch Moon kit guns. Also at higher levels it might start to fall off damage wise quicker than the Tomb Finger and the Rattle Guts but right now it kills everything in game everything that you needed to kill so it depends on how long I guess you're going to stay in missions whether you choose to keep using a catch moon or not. Now my floofer is made with the catch moon chamber, the love tap grip and the splat loader. Again it's a crit based kit gun with a 35% crit chance and 2.3 times crit multiplier so it hits hard but if you want the most out of your catch moon then the combo of the haymaker grip and splat loader is what you want to aim for. Same crit stats as mine, same magazine size and same reload but it fires slightly faster and deals more base damage so it's the catch moon of choice right now in game. In fact any of the top three build combinations for all of these types of kit guns whether it's the top three combinations for the catch moon or the top three for the tomb finger, rattle guts, gaze, they are more than viable in terms of DPS when it comes to killing absolutely anything in Warframe. Like if you're being realistic there is no real challenge in this game unless you're staying for hours and hours on end in an endless mission and then the challenge comes more about I guess situational awareness and knowing when to have certain rotations with abilities and weapons and what weapons to bring in order to I guess strip armor because you know what Warframe's scaling is like. So absolutely any of these top three combinations of these kit guns like I said are more than capable of dealing with anything that gets thrown at them. So Catch Moon, Haymaker and Splat. Now like I said earlier the Gaze kit gun is incredibly good but I'm not a fan of beam secondary weapons and it can have ammo issues as well unless you have that Pax Charge equipped which even when it is equipped you're going to have to wait for that recharge a lot because it does bone through ammo especially if you have a fast fire it. But if you are curious about what the top gaze kit gun is right now then you can either use the combination of the Haymaker and Splat with the gaze chamber or you can use the haymaker and kill stream combo entirely up to you now like i said kit guns have a neutral riven disposition which means it gives them serious potential with those rivens equipped my tomb finger currently has 156 percent crit chance which is absolute nuts orange crits for days and if you're looking at any of the arcanes that you can get with Solaris United then Pax Charge is a great choice for arcane because ammo no longer becomes an issue with any of them and Pax Seeker will deal serious damage once those bolts seek out targets after of course you've killed an enemy with a headshot. Now let me know in the comment section below again what your kit gun of choice is or if you're going to get one then what you're aiming to get your hands on. Like I said as well what name did you give it because that's the most important thing. Now because I haven't made one of these three incredible types of videos in over two years 
I am looking to refresh some of the older ones I made and I'm going to start off with the incredible damage dealing frames. Right now, give me a list of what you think are three incredible in damage dealing war frames to choose from. Do me a huge favour and hit that like button if you enjoyed the video or don't if you didn't. Subscribe for more Warframe and as always, thanks very much for watching.